Greetings car fanatics, if you're like me you need a set of jack stands that will work on both short and tall cars. Today we'll be reviewing three different jack stands to help you pick the right one for you. Before we get started in this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not. This is really important so I can continue to make new content for the channel. The first jack stand here is the Duralast. It's the most common and inexpensive jack stand style. You can purchase a pair for $30. It has a height range of 10.5 to 16.5 inches, and it has 10 different heights to pick from. While this is cheap, the jack stand definitely has some drawbacks. The ratcheting design allows you to quickly adjust the height, but people do have concerns about the ratcheting mechanism failing or getting accidentally released, and a lot of this is due to the Harbor Freight recall. However, this Duralast jack stand doesn't have that issue, but it's still a concern that people have. Additionally, the saddle is designed for cars with frames and axles, as you can see here. If you have a vehicle with a flat jack point, this jack stand is going to create some challenges when trying to use it. And lastly, the base of this jack stand has these edges. If you're putting a heavy vehicle on this jack stand, these edges can dig into your floor, so you'll want to use a piece of wood or something to distribute the weight and protect your floor. The next jack stand we have is the Sunex. It's the prettiest of the group and it comes in at $113 a pair. It is the lightest of the group and weighs just 5 pounds each and it can be adjusted from 10.6 to 15.4 inches and has 6 different heights to pick from. I like this jack stand for a few reasons. The base is 7 inches in diameter and provides a lot of stability. It also uses a pin design which is very safe. And while the saddle top isn't exactly flat, it's flat enough to accommodate a jack pad or a hockey puck, so overall I like the Sunex jack stand better than the Duralast style jack stand. And lastly we have the Hefty Esco jack stand which costs $110 a pair. This is my favorite of the bunch because of its unique design. It has a flat saddle with a rubber pad integrated into it which gives the jack stand extra grip with your vehicle and prevents damage to the lift points. Additionally, it has this nice tripod base which adds a lot of stability while preventing damage to the floor. Its height can be adjusted from 11 to 17 inches making it versatile enough for tall and short cars. And finally, it also uses a pin design like the Sunex, but it's a locking pin design which means it's not going to come out at all when your vehicle is sitting on these jack stands so these are extra safe. So now let's put these jack stands to the test and see how they work on both of my Porsches, the 911 and the Cayenne. Alright, we have the Porsche 911 in the air. As you can see, the car uses a flat jack point design. Starting with the Duralast, you can see that this saddle design poses challenges. The saddle doesn't sit flush with the lift point, it will create some pressure points and potentially damage that lift point, and it's also hard to get a hockey puck or jack pad in place. As you can see here, we can certainly do it, but if you look at it, this doesn't look safe at all. I wouldn't advise using this style of jack stand on a 911, so for the Duralast, it's a fail for the Porsche 911. Moving on to the Sunex, the saddle design is better. While it won't sit flush on the 911's jack point, we can still put a jack pad or a hockey puck on top. However, I wouldn't recommend going this route because it does seem a little bit sketchy. And lastly, let's take a look at the Esco jack stand. It looks like it's perfectly designed for the 911. As you can see here, the jack point sits perfectly on the big saddle and no extra hockey puck or jack pad is required because of the rubber pad. So for my 911, I would say the Esco is definitely the winner followed by the Sunex, but the Esco by far seems more perfectly designed for the 911 than any of these other jack stands. And finally, let's move on to the Cayenne and see if these jack stands can also work on a taller vehicle. In order for these jack stands to work, they need to be compatible with the Cayenne's jack point and also provide enough height to keep the wheel off the ground. So starting with the Duralast, it actually works decently well on the Cayenne. Even though the Cayenne has a flat lift point, you can position the Duralast jack stand correctly to where the lift point sits on the edges of the saddle. Now this will still create some pressure points and I am worried that this could cause damage to the jack points over time, but it does work for the most part and it passes this test. Height wise, the Duralast jack stand is more than tall enough to keep the front tire off the ground. I have it on the highest setting here and the front tire is several inches off the ground. Moving on to the Sunex, the jack stand is the shortest of the bunch, but in the tallest setting, it's still able to keep the front wheel off the ground by a couple inches. 
you can get a little more clearance and protect the jack point by putting a hockey puck. So despite being the shortest jack stand of the bunch, it does work on the Cayenne. And finally, looking at the Esco jack stand, again, because of its flat top design, the Esco jack stand works perfectly. However, if you're using the Esco jack stand on a vehicle with pinch welds or a different jack point design, it's still fine because the flat top is very versatile. You can put different jack pads on top and that's gonna sit perfectly stable and secure on top. So even though this is the shortest version of the jack stand, at the tallest setting, it provides 17 inches of lift and it's more than adequate to keep the Cayenne's front wheels off the ground. All right, there you have it, Car Fanatics. That's a breakdown of how the jack stands did in the test. The Duralast was a fail for the 911, but it passed the test on the Cayenne. The Sunex and the Esco jack stands both passed for the 911 and the Cayenne. However, the Esco was the only jack stand that worked perfectly on both vehicles due to its flat top design. So if you're going to work on your car, I definitely recommend going with the Esco jack stands over the others. While the Esco is more expensive than your traditional jack stand, it isn't more expensive than the Sunex, and you get a lot more performance and safety than any of these other jack stands on the market. If you want the best price on these Esco jack stands, take a look at the link up here or the link down in the description below. For more DIY content, take a look at www.ecarguides.com. Thanks for watching, Car Fanatics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Leave any questions or comments below and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.